Hi, lovely people. Let me show you how to make the perfect pasta. Yes, I said perfect pasta. It's ever so easy to do. Everyone can do it. But it is very important yeah, that you get the right flour and the right eggs. The combinations of the egg and the flour make the perfect marriage. So when you buy eggs, make sure, look at that, there's a little crown on top. They guarantee you they're very, very good. Here I have a 300 grams double zero flour. It's lovely and fine flour. You want it about for each 100 grams of a flour, you need about one large egg. Now you get a fork, just make a little bay. Okay, once you've done the little bay, crack the eggs. <sighs> look at that, that is good. Ah, look at the color of these eggs. It's so good. Always use a fork because it's like a pallet. There it goes, look at that. Yeah, as I said, the good eggs make good pasta. You have to make sure your hands are very clean. Then you get them together and start to mix it. Go for it. And you have to make sure you grab all the flour. Okay, that's, oh my goodness me. I told you it was easy. You have to make sure you grab everything. Then get your hands together and just get everything out. Open up and get the wettest place. Grab it and you grab the rest. Look, you see, three eggs, 300 grams of flour, six people. So can you imagine? That's good. Ah, oh, it's done. Just knead it. Put them together. Get some clean film and put them inside the fridge for about half an hour. Right, you can see, lovely and resting. But let me show you also something. Now, see those beautiful colors? If I pull it now, you can see it changing again. Look, look at that. Like almost kneaded. That is fantastic. I just off I go start to cut it. If you actually have a gadget like this one, please do use it. It's much easier. You can do this with a rolling pin as well. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> then again, make sure you always roll it a few times because you want to get these beautiful colors. You can see the eggs and give it a fantastic color at the Good flour is so important. You can see, I don't use any flour at all. It won't stick. Now, you can see I'm cutting. You use the large setting, actually, to roll the pasta out. One setting at a time. It is very important because if you do all in once, the pasta is, it can't take it. It's, it gets smashed, it gets punched. I say, where's the pasta? Where's the pasta? Where's the pasta? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> then you got the knife, just start to cut it, the measure it. We do what we call them a tagliatelle. With this one, you do lasagne, you can do ravioli, you can do fusilli, so many different ones. Now, you ask me, how do I know it's thin enough? Yes. You get the chair and you sit it. You get underneath and you start to blow. You can see, you start to move it. It means perfect. Now, I just put a little bit of semolina on top. And then you can close it like this. Or you leave it for about five minutes to dry. And you don't have to use it any flour on top. Then we go with the knife. Easy. Pick it up. Get them all together. Look at that lovely tagliatelle is coming out. Oh my goodness me. Or just put them in the pasta machines. So look at that, it's all coming out. Roll it out. Get underneath. 
Hey, come on! Right, let's start to cook. Some lovely cherry tomato. This is fresh garlic. Drizzle of olive oil. Garlic and chili goes straight in. Tomato goes in. Wonderful! Little bit of a pasta water. And full of a basil. Lift him up. The water is boiling. Salt it straight in. The pasta is ready. Come on, move out. A little bit more extra virgin olive oil. That was so easy. A pasta luova. Bless you. Arrivederci e buon appetito!